Live with Kelly and Mark. Today, from the new movie Lonely Planet, Liam Hemsworth. Plus, television and film star Felicity Huffman. Also, a performance from recording artist Gavin DeGraw. September 30th, 2024. That's it. September's done. September is Wait, is done. There, is there another day in September? <laughs> no, 30 no. days. Half September. September. Yeah. <laughs> you know the rhyme. I don't, I don't understand the rhyme. <laughs> well, it's useful. Okay. Yeah. Great. Great. So that's done. We're done with September. <laughs> back to school nights. Back to over. school nights over. Oh, do you remember any of the back to school nights? Uh, no. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you didn't go to any of them. I, no, I did. They, I went to a few. He went, I went to, to like few. one. I yeah. think he went to one and he was like, this is dumb. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of back to school, we went to uh, uh, the University of Michigan this weekend because it was Parents Week. Parents oh, Weekend. Parents yeah. Weekend. Go Blue. Go, any, anybody here? Go Blue. Go Blue. Yeah. They pulled out one and the last, they, they, they squeaked a win in against uh, uh, Minnesota. We had your niece from Minnesota. Yeah, my niece and her roommate and her yeah. roommate and their, and their the, friend the, yeah. came. So we had three golden gophers and one wolverine. And one wolverine. Yes. Yeah. Out for dinner. Yeah, that was great. That was great. We um, went to go see the game and um, it was interesting. I, I walked, we, we, got, we were sitting in, think, Thankfully, because it was raining sideways. Raining sideways. Yeah, we were sure. sitting inside. And when I get inside the suite, look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh, is yeah. that Campo Basso? They were, she, Karen Basile was wearing a Campo Basso jersey and a hat to show support for our team. Yeah, and because she's, she is. Italian. Uh, yes, she's Italian, but also she went to um, uh, Michigan State. Ah, so she can't wear Michigan colors. She can't colors. wear Michigan she colors. She can't wear Michigan colors, right. Yeah. She's like, I cannot. Yeah. And she's she said, but I want to be supportive. And she's good luck because uh, we, Campo Basso won yesterday. She's really yeah, good Yeah, she's luck. really yeah. good luck. And we won on Thursday. Yes. It's such a roller it's such a roller coaster. So we won two games in a row. We went from 12th place to 6th place in, in, in five days. Double in five days. Five. Amazing. And then, and then, gosh, there's so much sports. I'm sorry. So much sports. So much sports. You know, my, my Buccaneers played the Eagles this weekend. And the Eagles won 33 to, what was it, 16? 33 to 16? Um, yeah, Tampa beat the Eagles. And I had a bet. I had a bet with uh, our, our Ashley here, who's a producer. Um, and whoever won the game, the other person would have to wear... Uh, colors. Ash, yes. I am so not here for this. Ash? Not happy. You're Ash? not happy about it. No. I, I don't do, blame you. Do you have a pirate hat you can wear or anything like that? <laughs> we'll see what's back there. I want you to. I want you to put uh, Baker Mayfield's number on your oh on the, on the right on the right cheek. And then uh, Mike Evans on the left cheek. Oh my There's God. Number thirteen. And I think it's number six. Can you do that for me, please, today? Fine. It didn't occur to me that I could actually lose this bet. <laughs> oh. It was so it was so hot in Tampa. It was like 108 degrees on the field. Yeah. And it's, that's not a dry heat. No, it's, it's a, a moist. It's a moist heat. heat. People yes. are, Sorry for those of you triggered by yeah. the word moist. Um, Here's some other photos. I was thinking that you could do this, Ashley. Oh, That'd be great. Yeah. Yeah. Good idea. <laughs> and this is my favorite here. That's my favorite. You anyway. know, I spoke to my dad this morning. And, uh, and I said, you know, Ashley and Mark have this bet. And he goes, 
They stink. The Eagles stink. I should have told Ashley not to take that bet. Yeah, you guys, you guys were, you guys were down a couple big offensive weapons. It wasn't a fair fight. No, it wasn't a good game. No, yeah. but I'm happy that I'm not wearing Eagles clothes today. So we'll see you. When are we? What are we gonna see? End of the show. End of the Great. show. Yeah. And Baker was baking. Baker Mayfield was baking all kinds of stuff for the Buccaneers. It was amazing. And the I was Eagles thinking about you. They got cooked. And they got cooked. Yeah. <laughs> um, and Wait, I thought cooked was good. Isn't cooked good? It could be both. It's it, there's a double meaning for it. You can get cooked, or wow, you that cooked. I'm not sure. Okay. Are there any? Are there any young people? Nope. <laughs> um, well, I you know I I am happy for Florida because yes. they've had such. A, a you know dreadful um, hurricane. Yeah, and, and North Carolina and too. The I, Carolinas, yeah. Georgia. 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 Um, so you know I, I'm happy that at, le at least they had a, a win yeah, the, that way because yeah, they the death really toll was near a hundred people. There's um, you know Asheville lost thirty people and there's still people missing. So guys, we're we're hoping the best for everybody there in the south and the southeast. Um, you know, get. Get yeah. better quick. Yeah, it's horrible. It's horrible. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, yeah, it was funny. As I, I was, I wasn't watching the game at all, but I, I couldn't help but think about, you know, how are they even going to play the game? But you forget that Florida is such an enormous state mm. that our son is in Florida, and I kept texting him, "Are you safe? Are you okay?" And he's. And he said, oh, yeah, we're not, you know, where we are. It's got windy, a little it's windy. It's a little windy, but that was it. Yeah, the coast really got, yeah. got hit hard. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Woody's Bar on the Beach in St. Pete's gone. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, it's gone. Oh, god. But they're going to build it back. They're going to rebuild it. It's That's a staple. Too bad. It's a staple. staple. Yeah. I mean, we had some of our very finest and first dates there. I know. Oh, that makes me sad. I know. But. They're, they're going to build it. They're going to rebuild it. It's a sign. <laughs> <laughs> of what? I'm of, yeah, of what? I just, I, I'm, just looking, I'm just looking for trouble. I'm just looking for You know, you can't have a weekend of joy <laughs> and, and happiness. I have to stir up some trouble. Um, so, you know, Mudang, Mudang, the adorable hippopotamus oh, that yeah. I keep oh, talking yeah. about. Baby hippo swooping in his neck. Mm -hmm. Well, Gen Z has taken to posting about Mu Dang's gorgeous skin. <laughs> He's very dewy. Very dewy, yes. <laughs> that great skin, the halo eye, a zest for life. So now, uh, TikTok, the folks, the good folks on TikTok are showing us how to get that Mu Dang glow. <laughs> You know, making everything on but their why, face. Yeah, why uh, is he so shiny? <laughs> I think it. I think it's the natural shininess of a baby hippopotamus. Um, but for those of you that want uh, the natural shine of a baby hippopotamus, you can follow uh, the cosmetics content by May Pang. 3.9 million TikTok followers. Uh, is, is showing you how to get the <laughs> Mu Dang glow. Okay. If you too, and I think we, I think I speak for a nation when I say we all just want to look like a baby hippo. <laughs> That's all I'm going for. And so Gelman says to me backstage, the creepy, in a, in a, in a lifetime of creepy okay. statements was from he, Gelman. Was, it, was he seated? Was he squatting? He was in a full squat. Yeah. He was in a full wide second position plie, low plie to the ground. <laughs> and he says, am I, when I put on the slime serum from the snail, the, he's got himself some snail serum. Yeah, we had that dermatologist yeah. Yeah. Had yeah. snail slime. Snail you put slime. it on? Right. Yeah, so I've been putting that so on. So Gelman again. says, when do I put on my snail slime? <laughs> <laughs> Is it before my other serums or after? And I looked at him and I said, please get out of my dressing room. <laughs> I, I, know cannot, you know the answer, I cannot have Free this question. Or I can't have this conversation. It is a little confusing. You're right. It's confusing. You're right. Like yeah. there's, uh, when Moisture she when she puts long. on her, her stuff, there's 17 little things. I'm like, how do you know which one do you put, do you put on first? 
Do you let it dry? I've consolidated my thing That's to right. one I know. thing. But before that, that has all of but the before thing, that, there was a little, I'm like, what I do you put on? I used to have like a routine that lasted a really long time. Right. And Mark would... I would call it the uh, fourth quarter going into overtime football window. Because <laughs> I knew that when you're coming to bed, you, you, you probably want the, the, cha the channel changed. So I knew I had sometimes, fourth quarter... But sometimes I would use stall tactics, you know, in the hopes that he would just fall asleep. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying. I know you know what I'm saying. Every woman has done this, where you're like, no, it has to dry first entirely before I come to bed. Or it won't work. So I'd just be in there looking at the clock thinking, there's no way he's still awake. <laughs> and then I would go into the bedroom and he'd still be awake and I'd be like, oh, forgot the top layer. <laughs> My L'Oreal, I just put on the one application uh -huh. that has all three products yep. at once. And now you're in there in the third quarter. I'm like, what are we going to do now? Yeah, I know. Now, now he's what are we the one do now? stalling for yeah, time. Yeah, like, he should st stay in there. Um, so while we were at the University of Michigan, uh, this really funny thing happened. And what was funny was that you didn't seem to know what anybody was talking about, but I knew exactly what everybody was talking about because everybody there would yell out, Mark, we voted for you. And he was like, okay. And he's like yeah, well, I know waving. What, what he's like, okay. About? He's like, what yeah, are they well, talking about? They talking? I, go, I go, Mark, the most consequential election of our oh, time that? happened <laughs> this week, which was... Again, I wouldn't have known this either, but but for the fact that uh, Jimmy Fallon put out such a hit campaign for people's sexiest man alive mean -spirited. that it became Very a dogfight. He escalated it. He escalated it. <laughs> yeah, yes, you he both, really did. You escalated it first, but then he really... But it was a real like campaign uh, ad, one of those hit yeah. pieces. Yes, like mudslinging. Yeah, it was like Mark Consuelos won last year, and then they show... Uh, a breadline from the Great Depression. He goes, can we really afford to go back? Brilliant. I thought it was, it was really, really funny. It really is. He really needs to win. He want, I, I want, I want, I would like, for, now that the voting is over, I'd like for Jimmy to win. <laughs> <laughs> now that doesn't mean what I say, nothing I say means anything. Um, I hope you win, Jimmy. I really, it really, really hope you win. Th on that ad campaign alone, my fear is that, you know, oh, Split the vote? You two split the vote because you are so funny. And then what, Mario Lopez wins? Either Mario yeah. Lopez or Seth That's Myers yeah. oh. sneak in there. Yeah. Yes, we split, split the, the vote. vote. We and did then, split the vote. And then See what you did, Jimmy? <laughs> you split the vote. Congratulations. Congrats. Seth. Now Seth's going to win. <laughs> <laughs> Um, also, hey, listen, today there's a double header between the Mets and the Braves. Now, here's what's happening, Kel. Oh, thank God. I was yeah. hoping here's we weren't over talking about Here's what's happening. Yet. Here's what's happening. The Yankees, they clinched. They're in. They're in the playoffs. The Mets and the Braves are both vying for that wild card spot. So if, they, if one team wins the first game, the next team wins the second game, they're both in. They're both in. If one team wins both games, that team's in, and the, and, the, and the other team's out, all right? And then the third team gets in. So uh, I guess we're hoping that I, it's a New York team, I guess, the Mets. Yeah, you like the Mets? Yeah. Jimmy Kimmel really likes the Mets. But wouldn't we, if we were playing each other and we both could make the playoffs, wouldn't we say, hey, I'm going to win the first one? No. <laughs> or you win the first one. You win the first one. We would not do that. And you know we would not. You win the first one, and I'll, and then I get to win the second one. We would not do that because you are competitive, and I am competitive. Right. And we would not throw anything to to lose something so that the other person could win. And I'll tell you why. <laughs> Mark and I once played this game. We had never played it before. A game they call Wolves and Villagers. Wolves and Villagers. And what happens is it's it's sort of like. It, it, you're, the wolves, there's, you have to find out who the wolves are. There are two wolves that eat and then a the bunch rest of, of villagers. villagers. And nobody knows who and, the wolves and are. And nobody knows who the wolves are except the wolves. And Mark and I, the first time playing this game, both happened to, you draw cards. We both happened to be 
the wolves. We started immediately by picking off our children because <laughs> nobody no would believe. No parent would pick off your, your the, children. The children. And so then the children kept saying, It's mom. It's, it's mom. It's dad. <laughs> and then we would do this thing where you play the game and then we would pick off the next child. And, and then or they who, were like, or whoever would think it was it's us. Mom and whoever dad. think it was us, and we'd pick them off. Yes, immediately. and if they said it was, it's got to be Mark and Kelly, we would kill them next. And I was like, Guys, <laughs> if we were really the killers, would we kill the person that? accused us of being the killers? No. <laughs> so it gets down to the wire where we've killed everyone. We've killed every villager. As soon as they accuse us of being the killers, we kill them. <laughs> we do this with reckless impunity. <laughs> anyway, it gets down to the wire. It's between the two of us, and he turns around and kills me. <laughs> trust you and no I wouldn't throw the game for you so that you could win because you cannot give him a I window. Know, I can't, I can't. Jimmy, uh, uh, Jimmy Fallon, I was like, hey, Mark's going to use this campaign ad to his advantage. And I did. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll, we'll see. What is that? What is that? What are the results of that, that silly contest results. coming yeah, up? But the voting is over. Yeah. Voting's I know, over. but I may or may not yeah. have stayed up well, it. well into Friday, <laughs> right, uh, right up until midnight. I may have been voting for Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I On today's show, Liam Hemsworth is here. Oh, and Felicity Huffman is here. by Gavin DeGraw. And it's the moment you've all been waiting for, the reason you stood in line this morning. It's time to play. Stop. All right, let's say hello to Mark McClellan from New Hyde Park, New York, who watches the show on WABC. He said he wants to stop me so he can tell everyone he beat me. <laughs> good morning, Kelly and Mark. Hey, good, good morning, morning Mark. Mark. Hey, what do you have there, a little Labradoodle? It, that's my friend's dog. I wish I could claim it. It's the cutest dog in the world, Debbie. Oh, that is, that is a cute, cute dog. All right, Mark, you know how this game works. You've given us two statements. One is true, one is false. I have 60 seconds to decide which is the truth. And if you stump me, you win this. Here are Mark's two statements. I have traveled to 26 states with my children, or I once won a chicken wing eating contest. Oh. Oh, I like that. Um, 26 states, how, how old were your kids? We had three boys doing travel sports, so anywhere between seven and 18, I traveled the country with them with their travel sports. On purpose? <laughs> Oh they my. dragged me kicking and screaming. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine three kids? Yes, three kids in a yes, car. Yes, I can remember 26 three states. kids with a car. Why would you do something like that? Where was the, what, what were you up to? Just going on vacations? No, they were involved with travel baseball, travel hockey, and swim team. Oh. <laughs> Which wow. was your least favorite sport? Hockey, yeah. Oh, I love the hockey. It was so early though, right? And the, the times varied. The times vary. What was yeah, your least well, favorite? After yeah. puberty, what did the car smell like? <laughs> <laughs> All right, tell me about the chicken wing eating contest. How many wings did you eat? 40 wings in 10 minutes. <laughs> what do you think there, Gelman? That's a lot of wings, right? Yeah. 40 wings, wings, 10 minutes. 40 That's wings, big. 10 minutes. It would take me 10 days to get one wing down. Yeah. Uh, 26 states, though that's a lot of that's a lot of states for travel. Anything is it? Yeah, usually you're, it? usually you're in the you're in the you know four state, five state region, ten states, but 26 states. Three different sports. Three different sports. Ah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say you uh, you ate you won the chicken wing eating contest. No, no, didn't win the chicken wing eating contest. Traveled the state. Oh. you are wrong, Mark. I knew that win. I needed that win. Yeah. 
All right. Congratulations, you won the mug and the t-shirt. Now let's see if we can win you a valuable trip. It's time for Great Getaways Travel Trivia. <laughs> Spin that wheel, see what else Mark is playing for. All right. Mm. All right, Mark, you're playing for a trip for two to the club Barbados. Seven days and six nights in an ocean front room. It's all inclusive. It's a mm. prize valued at nine thousand dollars. You have twenty seconds and only one guess. Good luck. All right, Mark, here we go. Last week we talked with Joseph Gordon Levitt. Which of Joseph's films did he say his kids have watched and is celebrating its 30th anniversary this year? Wow. <laughs> he did talk about it. We showed a photo. Mighty Ducks. Oh, oh no, sorry, it was Angels in the Outfield. Good guess, though, but um, I don't think he was in that movie. Guys, why are you applauding Mark's loss? <laughs> Listen, there's still exciting news. You'll now be entered into our grand prize drawing for a 13-day voyage wow. to Antarctica. It's a prize valued at over $42,000. And now you and a lucky member of our studio audience will each receive a Typher Dome air fryer valued at approximately 500 bucks. So please pick a number between 1 and 169. Three, number three for my boys. <laughs> One. So I'm glad you won. You have excellent taste. <laughs> All right, Mark, thanks for playing with us when we return. Ian Hemsworth is here. Stick around. Hi. How are you? Good to see you. Welcome back. You just uh, you just uh, finished shooting something in Wales. Yeah, I, well, I'm still actually still shooting. I've been You're shooting, still uh, shooting. Yeah, I've been shooting a, a show called The Witcher for the past nine oh, months. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. yeah. How is the weather in Wales? It's uh, it's up and down. Um, the first we were there for two weeks, and uh, the first week was beautiful sunshine, blue skies, and then the second week was uh, kind of like tornado season. Wow. More, more like more like Wales. Yeah, yeah, and I'm told that the next six months in Wales is pretty much that. So I think I'll oh, oh, the best of it. And mm. how do how do you handle that? Because you're from Australia, land of sunshine, and yeah. blue skies, and yeah, it's a little tough. I, I, Did you I, get one of those light boxes? You know, they've got <laughs> those light boxes that uh, uh, simulate actual sunshine. So yeah, that right. You don't I, I don't. I don't. I, I've, I'm depressed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I haven't found one of those yet. You're a big surfer, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah I grew up surfing. I've been surfing since uh, eight or nine years old, I think. Do you do you find a place to surf in Wales? Uh, there, there, there actually is? there is places. Um, unfortunately, the two weeks that I was there, there was no swell and uh, okay. yeah, not a lot going on. But I was kind of hoping that there was going to be a swell when I was there because I've been in London since uh, end of January and. Um, 
uh, yeah, there's not a lot of surf in London. No. Yeah. Were you familiar with this, the the uh, Watcher before you, the Witcher? The Witcher, yeah. Before you started? I, I was. I hadn't seen the the TV show, um, and I hadn't read the books, but I uh, I played the video game like oh, ten, ten years ago or no something. Kidding. Yeah, Wait. and it's I mean it's still to this day one of the best video games of all time. And uh, Netflix came to me. Almost two years ago now, and uh, and said that they wanted me to uh, just step in and, and take over, and uh, and I was really excited by taking on that character because I was a fan of the video game. Um, but I said, you know, let me watch the TV show and have a look at the books and mm -hmm. and really get stuck into it. And, Are you uh, still playing that video game? You know, I've gone back to it okay. a couple times yeah, right. just to refresh my memory, uh, and it's, uh, it's it's one of those video games that you've got to spend a lot of time uh, playing. You really got to put in some hours. Yeah. 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 So you surf and you're a gamer. <laughs> yeah. yeah, when I'm not surfing, I'm playing Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> or making movies. Or making movies, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah so when right. you wrap, will you go back to Australia? Yeah, I've got about three more weeks after this week of, uh, of shooting. So we've been shooting now about eight months. and uh, Wow. Three more weeks and then uh, we break for about four months and then come back next year and, and do another eight months. Mm. Yeah. And you and your brothers all live sort of near each other? Yeah, yeah, we do now. We, we, we'd sort of spent 10 years kind of on other sides of the planet. And uh -huh. um, uh, when COVID started, actually, we moved back to Australia and, and we now all live within about five or 10 minutes of each other, my mum and dad included. And so. do you think that's why the earth is rotating at a strange degree? <laughs> because all of the Hemsworths yeah. are together in one continent? Yeah, there's a lot of energy yeah, out there. The sea, the sea currents are collapsing. Uh -huh. Curious? You could have just asked. Yeah, but now I don't have to, because I know everything. Oh, right, of course, yeah. Mm. Like what? Flexing his American accent, <laughs> and that's a clip from Lonely Planet. Tell us about the film. Yeah, it's uh, it's a film about uh, the complexities of relationships mm -hmm. and uh, about finding someone that that sees you for who you are and and. Uh, you know, about being seen and heard and, and supported and, and someone who brings out the best in you and, and, you know, the importance of having that in a relationship. And uh, yeah, and you guys filmed in Morocco. Yeah. Yeah, ha had you been before? Or? I'd never been before. <clears throat> no, I, we, we shot there for about three months and uh, we started in Marrakesh, which is wild, lots mm -hmm. of energy and um, colors and sounds and sort of an overload of senses mm -hmm. every day. And uh, and then we shot in the mountains, which was sort of 45 minutes away and, and much different. It was, um, you know, kind of fast, sort of, kind of like California mountains, kind of, or like Malibu sort of mountains, very dry and uh -huh. whatnot, but beautiful. And then we shot in Chef Shaolin, which is the blue city, um, really beautiful. Yeah, well, there it is. There's a photo of it. I mean, that's a. I always say, I think part of part of the appeal of being an actor is getting to travel and see these extraordinary places that you might not ordinarily get to see. Yeah. And did you did you uh, pick up any like I know in different regions they speak different languages. Did you get to pick up any of that while you were there? Uh, not really. You were just <laughs> you were just focused on speaking. Yeah, American I was just English. trying to speak American. Yeah, yeah that was my focus. <laughs> and you got to work with the great Laura Dern, which is fantastic. Had you yeah. guys worked together before? Yeah. No, we hadn't worked together before. She, when I first met her, she'd just come off doing a, a project with my brother, and he spoke the world of her. And uh, and when we met, when she was already a part of this film, but when we met, sort of felt like we'd known each other for a lot longer, and and really quickly kind of felt at ease with each other, and there was a real trust there, and and. Uh, and I just think she's such a brilliant actress and, and really helped me through this film. And, and uh, you know, we really didn't have to work for finding that relationship. We kind of just had an organic connection from the beginning, which was really nice. Mm. Well, we uh, look forward to yeah. Lonely Planet. It premieres on Netflix on Friday, October 11th. Liam Hemsworth, always so nice to have you here. Yeah. Felicity Huffman. Felicity Huffman. <laughs> Thank you.
You look gorgeous. Thank you very much. Are you still running marathons? No, no, my knees gave oh, out. No. So I'm hiking now. Oh, you're hiking? Oh, yeah. Yes. We love to hike. Yeah, oh, yeah? Great. yeah? Where do yeah. you guys go? Uh, everywhere, West everywhere Street. out west. We, <laughs> yeah. we like to we like to hike a lot in Colorado. Oh, that's where uh, I'm from. Oh yeah, Isn't well, best hiking. Yeah, it's amazing. amazing. Where mm -hmm. do you go? Um, usually Telluride. Oh okay. You yeah, know fun. that area? Sure, sure. I grew up. I grew up there. Great hikes. Yeah. yeah, great hikes for sure. Now you know we we were talking about this earlier talking about it with the audience a little bit during commercial break. It is the most consequential election of our time. Um, you know, uh, did you did you place your vote? Did you vote in the most consequential election of our time? Okay, remind me what this is again? Uh, uh, the sexiest man alive. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah, of course. The sexiest man alive. You're in the running. Yes, I am. Well, I mean, I actually, Especially she is. for so many years, I, I am the de facto sexiest man alive, so I took myself out of the run. Oh, thank God. So someone else could have a shot. Yes, I wanted Mark to be able to have a shot. Yeah. Aw. Um, you, That's a stretch. Uh, it's, it is a stretch. It is a stretch. Uh, William H. Macy, of course, you've been married since 1997. Um, instead of, instead of well, the wedding vows, he, he said he was going to, he proclaimed things he was going to do for you. Yes, he's very practical, which I love. I like that. As opposed to, you know, I'll love you forever, and who knows if that's ever going to happen. <laughs> Although, so far, it's been good. Um, yes, he said things like, I'm going to uh, build you a closet big enough. And then he also said, whenever you get up or come back to the table, he's going to stand up. Does he? so nice. Yes, he does. And he still every does? Every time. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. It's very nice. I know. It's lovely. It's lovely. Um, and you guys like to travel. We do like to travel, and he is very brave. We, um, we, 38 years ago, my mom took us all of the kids, there's eight of us, to um, Africa, and we rode horses across the Maasai Mara. My girls have heard about it forever, and uh, they said, we really want to go. So we went, and then we came back and said, Bill, you have to go, and Bill is not didn't grow up riding horses, and um, he went. He was so wow. brave. And he rode on the horse the whole time? Oh, my God. You get up in the morning, you're on your horse at 7, you go all day, you stop for lunch, you get back on the horse, and, you know, usually with a horse, you're scared of the horse, but... In Africa, you're scared of the lion and the... Yeah, falling off the yeah, horse. Yeah, falling off the horse. Right. Yes, all that sort yeah. of stuff, which happens. The, you know, Cape Buffalo and all that sort of stuff. Wow. So he did amazing. What do the horses do when they <laughs> see, see a big animal, a, an animal yeah. like that? Well, they have this place called, it's called Offbeat Safaris, and they are amazing. They've been doing it for 40 years. They really know their stuff. So they have great horses, but, you know, when an elephant is coming at you, the horses spook and turn around. Yeah, same. You know, the guy, yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, we need to take a break. When we come back, we'll ask Felicity about- To dinner. I, I mean, go. I have to go. The accused, each episode, of course, tells a different crime story. Familiar face there you're working with. Yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> I ended up I sleep with that guy, so I was like, I thought I should give him a, Be I easy. Should give him a part. Yeah. yeah, it's the casting of couch kind of thing. Right. Um, yeah, uh, it's a wonderful script. I mean, Accused, it's an anthology series, so everyone is different. It's a wonderful script by Mike Skerritt. Um, Howard Gordon and Daniel Pearl just produced a great show, and this is the pop-off of the second season. Mm. Um, and it's a fascinating story. You know, it's from the point of the defendant, from the point of view of the defendant, and it opens up in a courtroom always, and you don't know if the person is guilty or not guilty and what the story and what the circumstances are. And you and uh, Bill, like, you enjoy working together. I love working yeah. with Bill. I mean, we, I grew up. Yeah. Sao các bạn kia đứng nhìn không kìa? Nhìn tôi đánh không? Đó. Ủa?
cướp cướp tôi cho cướp luôn cướp 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 nè bánh lộn xạ luôn hết thấy đường rồi bánh đại đi bánh đại đi hết thấy đường rồi Đâu á, cho cướp của tôi, tôi cướp lại về Về nha, không chạy theo nha Một đứa Hai đứa Rồi, ra đi Giữa sân nè Ui ui Bay lên tảng đá luôn à Dễ dễ giống làm tiếng cá à Tiên cá cơ bắp nè U ừ. Đây Tôi tới đây Khỏi chạy tới chưa mất công Đó Thằng bên đây thằng bên kia Xa vậy Gần chết rồi, gần chết rồi, gần chết rồi Xong Ủa, còn đứa đâu rồi Để coi nó có tắm biển không Đây, 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 đây Đợi chị Phương Đó, coi vậy tới việc nào nha Với cái tình hình này thì mình chỉ việc là đứng trên đá và chém thôi Nơi dưới nó không đánh được mình đâu <cười> 